you know, I lost over nine years with my daughter, my family. There's so many things that, that you never get back. You try to grasp at those things, it just it's not gonna happen. Nine years spent behind bars, convicted of killing his high school girlfriend in a small Coos County town in 2000. Somebody out there, you know, did this crime and it wasn't me. 10 years after Leah Freeman was murdered, a 10 to two jury found Nick McGuffin guilty of manslaughter and a judge sentenced him to 10 years in prison. You kind of lose yourself. But a court overturned his conviction in December. It's a day that I'm not gonna forget just before Christmas. After his lawyer, Janice Piracall of the Forensic Justice Project had DNA evidence retested which didn't wind up belonging to MacGuffin. There's no blood, there's no DNA, there's no hairs, there's no fibers, there's nothing that ties Nick to this crime. But there is DNA pointing to some other suspect. While behind bars, MacGuffin says he did what he could to help bring justice for Leah and her family. His daughter and her strength got him through and motivate him now. I gotta show her strength, she shows it to me at you know, 12 years old. Though he walks free, he feels shackled by the chains of anxiety back in the community where people cast him as a killer. I thought it would be easier coming home. It's, it's not, I mean, I don't, I don't go out a lot. Um, I stay home a lot. I mean, I go work out. I mean, that's one of the things that keeps me somewhat level-headed. These past couple months, he says he's broken down a lot. I'm kind of an emotional wreck. But trying to live each day to the fullest. I learned the nine years in there, though. I mean, you don't take life for granted. A skilled chef, McGuffin's focus is getting back into his career, which has proven tough to in his tiny hometown. Even though he's been exonerated, he's essentially blacklisted from that career because he spent time in prison. He spent time in prison wrongfully. So he needs people to give him a shot. He says keeping Leah's story in the spotlight is still his mission. I want to keep, you know, Leah's voice alive. I want to keep her light alive. Morgan Romero. I just want to find out what happened. That's, that's all I want. KGW News.